You know, this room has some really nice architectural details. Wainscoting down here, built-in corner cabinet with some columns right here. But there's one thing that's missing, and that's right up here where the wall meets the ceiling. It's crown molding. So right now we're going to put some in, and you're going to be amazed at how easily it goes. The molding I'm using today is manufactured by Creative Crown Molding and available through their network of distributors. It's made of high-density polystyrene foam. The surface is very smooth, and the detail is crisp and clean. Because the material is lightweight, it can be easily installed by one person, and best of all, requires no nails or fasteners of any kind completely eliminating the need to locate wall studs. To begin the installation, I cut a 45 degree miter on the end of one molding section. I can make this cut either by moving the miter saw table to the 45 degree position and setting the molding vertically, or by tilting the blade to a 45 degree bevel and laying the molding flat on the saw bed. Today, I'll be cutting with the material in the vertical position. Rather than using nails, the crown is going to be held in place with caulk. This material from Sherwin-Williams is a paintable, siliconized acrylic latex sealant that immediately bonds the material in place and cleans up easily with water. I cut the nozzle off, leaving an opening of about an eighth of an inch in diameter. Then use the built-in tool in the caulking gun to puncture the seal at the base of the nozzle. There are two ways to apply the caulk. I can lay a bead about the size of a small drinking straw near the edge of the top and bottom of the molding. When the section is placed on the wall, the excess sealant squeezes out of the joint. It's then cleaned off with this caulk removal tool. Any remaining sealant is wiped away with a damp cloth. The second method is to place the bead of sealant about a quarter inch away from the edge, set the molding in position, and press firmly with the palm of my hand. In this case, none of the sealant squeezes out, and an additional bead of caulk is added where the molding meets the ceiling and wall. I remove the excess with my finger and clean away any remaining material with a damp cloth. It's a good idea to stop occasionally, rinse the cloth, wring out most of the water, and then continue. Quite surprisingly, I found it unnecessary to use a tape measure for this project. Each wall requires two sections of molding. I cut a 45 degree miter on the end of the second piece and set it into position, making sure that the tip of the miter is fully into the corner. Then I mark the spot where the two pieces meet. This is a straight cut on the saw with the miter indicator set at zero. Normally it would be awkward to install conventional nailed-on crown molding behind this built-in corner cabinet. In this case though, it's easily slipped into place and firmly attached to the wall and ceiling in a matter of seconds. Applying spackle to the ends of the butt joints before installation ensures that there will be a strong bond front to back that will prevent the joint from moving. As the two pieces of molding are pressed together, excess spackle squeezes out the front. It's easily removed either with a plastic card or the caulk removal tool. This spackle has a dry time indicator. It goes on pink but turns white when it's dry. I like to fold my sandpaper into thirds before using it. This makes the sandpaper pad stiffer, yet pliable enough to conform to the molding profile. Rolling the sandpaper into a small cylinder allows me to get into the curved sections. Sealant is applied to each mitered end. Here too, where the sections are pressed together, any excess squeezes out. It can be easily smoothed out with a finger and cleaned up with a damp cloth. Because the molding is bright white and the surface is perfectly smooth, one coat of high quality water-based paint is usually all that's required. Applying masking tape to the wall and ceiling allows the molding to be painted in place without any mess. However, I think painting the molding before installation is easier and quicker. Once I get familiar with the process, the project moves along surprisingly fast. There's no noise, mess, or frustration. 
A room like this can be completed in a couple of hours, most often without the need to move the furniture. This new and improved high-density polystyrene molding from Creative Crown is extremely stable and does not expand or contract, eliminating the possibility of future gaps in the joints. The material also has a Class A fire rating and is made right here in America. Now that completes the room, and can you believe how easy it was? From plain to classic in a couple of hours.